Well, a lot of credit to uh, goes to this nice lady, Lizzie Witcher. She is over, of course, all the uh, Christmas decor you see throughout the entire state. Lizzie, uh, welcome to your Carolina. How are you? Thank you. Thank Good. you. Doing great. Good. I was just rattling Christmas. some presents, thinking maybe there was something for us, but. <laughs> Hopeful, mostly, wishful mostly thinking. Mostly toys under there or yeah. empty boxes. Well, but. I was thinking maybe those are some empty. But so many of those toys under that tree are fitting of the time, like, uh, uh, you know, croquet sets and uh, little little wooden dolls and stuff and like yes. that. And they're actually very specifically kind of off of a archival list that we have yeah. from FAO Schwartz of gifts that we knew that Edith was ordering um, to give to employees' children. So well, that's but now you're in charge of decorating just, you're in charge of everything <laughs> as far as decorating. Yes, but it definitely takes an army. I never, you know, like to give credit to all yeah. the people involved and, and beyond even just the floral team. There's well, lots of departments. It, it, oh my gosh, yes, the floor is a whole, a whole thing, but it's something so gorgeous about being here at Christmas. How do you like help recreate that magic? Yes. Well, I think that's why Christmas is so special here. You know, the house was opened at Christmas time. Mm -hmm. So I think that makes this time period yeah. particularly special here. Um, but for everyone, we love to kind of go back in time at Christmas time. There's a nostalgia about it. And so, um, you know, we want to recreate that for our guests and we want them to be able to go back in time. So we tie as much as we possibly can back to stories and history that we know. Um, and you're saying uh, late 1800s, 1890 or so when they moved in Christmas Eve, they probably had electric lights on the tree and in the, in the building. Yes, there are so many things about the house that people are surprised to learn that George had at the time. There was heat, there was electric light, there were electric lights on the first Christmas tree here. I love that. George had wow. great taste. So you say when y'all are doing things, you're like, wait, would this be George Vanderpump appropriate? Yeah, well, Vanderbilt? What would yeah. George do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, but Who uh, likes Bravo? <laughs> no home is a home without a lady's touch, and I imagine she had a lot to do with it. Yes, so George was a bachelor when he built Biltmore House. Is that right? And his mother kind of came and presided as kind of the, <laughs> the female figure at that first Christmas. But when Edith came along, she did actually have a little touch of nostalgia herself. Yeah. And there yeah. was a year where she wanted to go back to Candles on the Tree. So it's um, very European. And Edith, was she from Paris? Was it, they met, you know? And she was from New York, but had lived all over. Had lived all over. Okay. They definitely spent time in, in all the European. Okay, I have to know because I'm looking at all the decorations and it is just, I mean, it's overwhelming. How in the world do you store them each year? How do you keep it organized? Yeah. How does that process go? Well, as big as this house is, they do not stay here stored. We have an, uh, a warehouse that's actually off the estate. Um, a lot of the trees get kept fully put together. Um, we Smart. box a lot up, but every single ornament gets taken off, every single tree wrapped with tissue paper. We have about a thousand black tubs that they get um, packed up and we have lots of rolling bins. We can go to Home Depot and I was gonna say, yeah, can you imagine that target Lowe's. run to get the, and then is there like a de-decorating day? Cause that's the saddest day of the whole year. Yeah. It does come down a lot faster than it goes up. I yeah. will say that, but it still does take us a couple weeks, I'd say. We we start in here, actually. This tree is the, one of the first to come down. The first to come down, because it's not like, a, let's just throw it in a box and we'll sort it out next year. I mean, you got it. And then you said, too, we were thinking about next year, you may like add little notes to this bin, like, ooh, add this ornament or. Yeah, we try to pack up with the next year in mind, which is really why mm -hmm. we start our planning so mm -hmm. early. Smart. So, you know, as someone who's taking on this room next year, they might know that they want to use those particular gold mm -hmm. finials and they're going to pack them up accordingly for 2024 and everything else might just go yeah. into. You're a good Texas girl and so much of your background's in Florida sign too, right? Yes. Well, yes. we're glad you're here. You did Thank a great you. job, Lizzie. Lizzie. I love it so much. Thank you for everything. We're going to take Merry a Christmas. quick break, y'all. We've got more Your Carolina coming up live from Biltmore.